And of course, we're talking to uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu, and the uh, topic is the narco, narco states of uh, West Africa. And of course, uh, Dr. Uh, Madhu, I think that they would have, uh, the audience probably saw us uh, laughing about a lot of this, and, and I think that we both uh, admitted that uh, the information that you're talking about and the impact that it is having upon uh, the people of uh, the west coast of Africa mm -hmm. is uh, so tragic that the only way that you can keep from uh, crying over it is to find some kind of humor in it. Mm -hmm. and, and absolutely, we know that there's no humor in reference to this, but this is a real tragic kind of situation. And mm -hmm. uh, let's, let, let, let's allow you to continue on talking yes. about uh, this uh, as an issue. And, and, and you know, the, 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 the basic problem here, you know, if you think about it, is the, the political consequences, yeah, the political and economic consequences, you know, and it's, it's not to joke about. When these cartels are get entrenched mm -hmm. in these countries, okay, they can influence the outcome of elections. Mm -hmm. We already have bad elections in mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. Think about it. With the money they have, they can influence who becomes the president, mm -hmm. who becomes the prime minister, okay, mm -hmm. all that. Okay, so that is the danger that I foresee, and that's, that's what is worrisome now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they can buy the entire country, country. Mm -hmm. and put whomever they want in power. Mm -hmm. and the ordinary people can't do a thing mm -hmm. about it, mm -hmm. you see. And you know politicians need money to mm -hmm. run for elections. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and when the cartels come and say, hey, uh -huh. this is one billion, uh -huh. finish. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you become president. What will you do? Uh -huh. You are beholden to them. That's right. Okay, you are beholden to them, and that's what has been happening mm -hmm. in Guinea-Bissau. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of those drug barons have bought most of those politicians, mm -hmm. including the president himself, mm -hmm. you know, with millions of dollars, to keep quiet and just, you know, mm -hmm. let them run, do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what is bothersome. Guinea the same. You saw, you mm -hmm. saw if the son of the president and the wife and all this are involved in it, mm -hmm. They can share policy the way they want to, mm -hmm. in favor of the drug barons. Yeah, okay. You can't mm -hmm. stop them, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, when they're shipping these drugs in diplomatic pouches, mm -hmm. they're influencing politics in those countries. Mm -hmm. So that's what some of us are worried about now. Mm -hmm. And one will say, well, after saying all this, then what are you going to do about it? Okay. How, how is it going to be dealt with? Mm -hmm. And I think the United Nations, you know, and, 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 and the United States, mm -hmm. or even the Security Council of the United Nations, you know, mm -hmm. should get involved. Mm -hmm. You know, should get involved in, in training or retraining, mm -hmm. you know, the, the security forces in those countries. Good. It wouldn't it wouldn't be even out of way to say, hey, let some of our drug agents from this country mm -hmm. go and live in Guinea Bissau mm -hmm. for a while. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, train their own drug agents, mm -hmm. help them keep an eye on, on, mm -hmm. on the coast. Mm -hmm. Even send some marines or whatever mm -hmm. over there to stay for a while mm -hmm. and make sure the, those, the coast is protected, mm -hmm. you know, and, and help them train their police and all that mm -hmm. to, to, to understand how this mm -hmm. is operate. Mm -hmm. and, and, and moreover, give them more economic, you know, mm -hmm. economic aid mm -hmm. to help them overcome poverty. So it, it really is not in the best interest of uh, the Western world, the United States especially, to uh, have all of this going on in that kind of situation. Do you no, think? not when we say we are fighting terrorism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, because with so much money mm -hmm. in the hands of, of, of those drug dealers mm -hmm. in Africa, they can become a heaven, mm -hmm. you know, for under group of terrorists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what the Mexican government is going through. Mm -hmm. So when you have uh, the narco terrorists mm -hmm. in Africa, you know, they can ally themselves mm -hmm. with, the, with, you know, religious terrorists mm -hmm. who are fighting now. It becomes a deadly, mm -hmm. deadly combination. Mm -hmm. what, what, what can say, you know, that some of uh, Bin Laden's folks mm -hmm. wouldn't say, hey, let's go to Bissau. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. This is uh, uh, free. And all it takes is money. All it takes is money. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's go to Bissau and settle, mm -hmm. you know. Since the drug cartels can go there, we, we can go over there and, and mm -hmm. leave and plot terrorism mm -hmm. activities against the United States. Mm -hmm. So it's not in our interest to have that happening, mm -hmm. you know, in, 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 in Guinea-Bissau. You have Senegal mm -hmm. just next door, and Senegal is the good friend of the United States, mm -hmm. a stable, mm -hmm. democratic country. Okay. It can be destabilized. It can, very by, easily. Yeah, exactly, so. uh -huh. by the drug cartels mm -hmm. in Guinea-Bissau. Mm -hmm. You have Gambia, a small country just next door also. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be destabilized mm -hmm. by what's happening in, 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 mm -hmm. in Guinea-Bissau. You know, you have Togo, all those countries on uh -huh. the West Coast that are at least relatively quiet now, uh -huh. they all can become, come under the influence uh -huh. 
of the drug cartels mm -hmm. and become helpful for narco terrorism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the strategic implication there. Mm -hmm. So it's not from the United States or the Western European countries. Mm -hmm. No, uh -huh. okay. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. and and who who can say that? Hey, if they can use that as a, so a source of transshipment to Europe, mm -hmm. well, it can become a jumping ground, a jumping mm -hmm. off ground for terrorists to go to mm -hmm. Europe uh -huh. and from there to the United States. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, I said before, in the 19th century, Africa was torn apart by slavery. Okay. You know, it was completely destroyed, devastated mm -hmm. by, by slavery because of Euro Europe's need mm -hmm. for slaves to, to come and walk. Mm -hmm. Now you have another type of slavery, you know, mm -hmm. cocaine slavery. Okay. Yeah. You have the leaders of these countries. Which is just as devastating. Exactly. Mm -hmm. which is just as devastating as the slave trade. Mm -hmm. The only difference is that people are not being dragged out mm -hmm. from there now. But, but it's, 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 compar it's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's the same thing, uh, almost. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have the chiefs mm -hmm. in Africa collaborating, colluding, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the European nations to mm -hmm. sell slaves. Mm -hmm. Now, you have the governments themselves mm -hmm. colluding, with drug barons, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to sell their own people. Mm -hmm. That's a precisely what is happening. When a government is acquiescing mm -hmm. to, 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 to drug, you know, barons, mm -hmm. running their own country, depriving their own people, mm -hmm. you know, that's exactly what it is. It's the same mentality. Okay? It's the same mentality. Mm -hmm. The difference, the only difference is that people are not being shipped away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what's the what's 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 they're not in chains leaving exactly you're not in chains chain. you're there. in chain right there, right there. exactly uh -huh. you're in chain right there mm -hmm. okay so if these countries are selling their own people away they're selling their own countries people away to the drug dealers mm -hmm. because when the drug dealers control these countries the regular poor African in those mm -hmm. countries don't have nothing to say That's right okay That's right. yeah mm -hmm. you're subjugated and subdued in your own country mm -hmm. because you are poorer mm -hmm. living in your own country mm -hmm. and you can't do nothing about it and especially with all the wealth dr Madu. exactly I mean, you know That's of correct. africa and the mm -hmm. west coast of africa yeah <laughs> Absol ab ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 the, that's, that's the way it looks. If mm -hmm. you look at it, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it, it is. You know, it's just a modern day slavery, mm -hmm. but under a different guise. Mm -hmm. Now it's cocaine slavery. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's, it's not a transatlantic slavery. Slave trade. Come uh -huh. over here. Slave uh -huh. trade to come uh -huh. over here. Yeah. Transatlantic cocaine trade, trade to uh, subdue so Africans right. in Africa. Uh -huh. okay? So that's, that's the danger there. And mm -hmm. that's, that's what's sad about the mm -hmm. whole thing, about, about you know, governments in Guinea, mm -hmm. Bissau and Guinea doing, doing these things to their own mm -hmm. people. So that's what I want, you know, mm -hmm. people in this country to know and understand and help these countries, you uh -huh. know, fight because off this the spread, and as you indicated, that, that, that the very, very fact that it's where it is, that it destabilizes all of those other relatively uh, stable uh, Afri West African countries. That's correct, because from one country moves to the other. That's because that's okay, right. from Guinea Bissau, yeah, it, it, you it, have it in Guinea and Conakry. No that, that it's going to stop there. That's it, correct. It wouldn't make any sense for it to stop there. That's the correct. Sense. It wouldn't make any business sense mm. for them to mm. stop that's there. That's right. The it's next day they encroach on Senegal. The next day here they are in Senegalese right. coast. That's right. The next day here that they are, you know, uh -huh. on the coast of Togo. Uh -huh. The next day here that, exactly, and that's the way it will spread. But, uh -huh. So it has to be nipped in the bud right now. Uh -huh. in, in Guinea and Guinea uh -huh. Bissau to stop it from spreading. Uh -huh. See, so that's 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 very important. That's what I want people to understand. That that the American government to act. That it has quick. to it has to act quick because mm -hmm. you, you just can't st decide to st uh, stand around and watch it happen for the next uh, several uh, months or years that's and then that's expect correct. it to all of a sudden disappear. That's correct. <laughs> and and those countries where the governments are cooperating. Uh -huh. No, the International Criminal Court mm -hmm. needs to look into it. Good, good. Uh -huh. To see about prosecuting, mm -hmm. you know, those officials that who are collaborating are with the drug dealers. Uh -huh. I think that's one way to that's start. Right. Is have them indicted right. by the International mm -hmm. Criminal Court, mm -hmm. you know, and charged, you know, for crimes against humanity. Okay, and Dr. Madhu, of course, uh, we're at the uh, end of this show for today. And let me again thank you for bringing by that uh, information as well as the earlier information that mm -hmm. we talked about dealing with this same uh, topic. Mm -hmm. And uh, to... Uh, know that at least this information is out now, which is mm -hmm. to say that uh, I was uh, almost ignorant in terms of, uh, uh, of, 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 of the impact that it was having now, and, and I think that I understand better about what is going on, and I think that if I understand better, and, and, and I'm almost sure that uh, others also have a better understanding, and I want to thank you for bringing us uh, that uh, excellent information this morning. 
And let me encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.